Welcome to this episode of Brutal Battle Beer Break. Uh, today we're going back to cans. I love canned beers. Uh, this one is by Modern Times out of San Diego, California. It is their beer called Black House, which is a stout. So we're going to check that one out. Um, it, uh, this is one of those things. They, they, they don't give you the ABV straight up. They just give you... Oh no, never mind. I thought they just gave you the final gravity so you could kind of use that for the home brewers out there. But no, they do 5.8% alcohol by volume on this stout. Once again, it is Black House. Let's go ahead and crack this sucker open. I'm expecting a lot of like coffee, roasty, chocolatey, blah, 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 you know. It's a stout, so let's see if it's stouty. Um, there you go. It's, you know, it's not as dark as I would think. Sometimes stouts are like super, super dark and thick looking. This is a little more kind of on the like the medium body, the way it looks. Um, pretty brownish around the edges, although on there I'm sure it just looks like super dark. But trust me, very brownish around the edges. Ooh, yeah. Roastiness to it, a little faint. Some coffee in there. Faint chocolatey note. It's not like real pronounced on the chocolatey aspect. But roasty, coffee a little chocolatiness. It's like milk chocolate, not like dark chocolate, though. A little bit, it, but there is a little bit of that kind of like hay aspect that I get from some malts. And that's coming through in this. But it's not very pronounced. And people who listen to the podcast know that I'm not a big fan of that kind of hay aspect coming through in the beer. But this is relatively subdued with that. It smells pretty good. It's a pretty light stout. I'm not blown away by it, but I get kind of I get those kind of roasty, smoky roast notes to it that the the smoky aspect is not like smoke smoke. It's kind of like more the roast actually. A uh, little coffee, you know, dark dark coffee. Um but it's light on the dark coffee flavor. I don't know. Um, some of that kind of chocolate coming through, but it's milk, milky chocolate, like I said on the nose. With my stouts, I like more body to them than this. Um, body's kind of weak. It's like light, like medium light, you know? So it's not bad. The flavors are pretty decent, but it's also in my opinion, not like a extremely remarkable uh, coffee, or um, I'm sorry, stout in general, but you know, I said coffee because coffee I just saw some, uh, some coffee information on here. But anyway, they usually on these cans, you can see have down here kind of the description of what the flavors are supposed to be like. Um, so this is coffee roasty stout, so I did pick up on those, good job on that. Um, they do have coffee in it. Uh, they said 75% Ethiopian and 25% Sumatran coffee, so that's interesting. There are 40 IBUs in this, so, you know, kind of mid. Uh, then they have their ingredients, which I like. They have two-row malt. Uh, they have kiln coffee, flaked barley, pale chocolate, Munich, Crystal 60, roasted barley, midnight wheat, and oats. All packed into this beer. So, they actually used coffee in the making of it which is probably why I can taste coffee but actually using the coffee in there I thought I would have ended up picking up on a lot more hmm I'm going back because I'm trying to see if I really pick up on that kind of like hay note that I was getting in the nose I I get it even less in the flavor than I got it in the nose and like I said you know in the nose it was relatively subdued so it's like barely there in the flavor, which I like the fact that it's barely there. So, um, decent stout, not awesome. I think there are better stouts out there that people can go for, but, um, I wouldn't turn it down if somebody gave it to me. So that's fine with me. So thank you. Modern times beer, good beer, black house. People go ahead and check it out. If you, if you like what you heard, easy drinking, uh, stout here. So Anyway, thank you everyone for checking this out and go find yourself an awesome beer to have.